Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. Now it should come as no surprise that I'm a really big fan of Cyanogen Mod 10 Custom ROM. I'm also a really big fan of the Nexus 10. Luckily, the Cyanogen Mod team has been hard at work and we now have a 10.1 nightly build that's stable enough for me to show you. That's what I want to do right now. Let's go take a look. So here's my Nexus 10. I've gone ahead and rooted and unlocked it. OEM unlocked the whole deal. I have just installed Cyanogen Mod 10.1 and I've set this up so that it works with my, uh, my Google account credentials. So let's go ahead and unlock for the first time. We'll do that. I've got my uh, make yourself at home tutorial. We'll just okay through that. And the first thing we've got is Cyanogen Mod statistics up here. This is error reporting and whatnot. So if there is problems, the Cyanogen mod team is automatically made aware of them. I usually leave that on by default, but that shows you that we do in fact have Cyanogen mod 10.1 running. You'll notice down here some of the goodies are missing under system. If we go into about tablet, we can see that, yep, Cyanogen mod updates is there, and Cyanogen mod stats, we can get in and make those changes there as well. This is running version 4.2.1, but where are my cool overclocking and, uh, and other stuff? Oh, let's go in and take a look. We got to come in here to, uh, is it Android version? We tap, nope, that just gives us our jelly bean. So uh, let's come in and do our, our Cyanogen mod version. That gives us our jelly bean. Come into build number, and that's what gives us our developer stuff. I knew that, I just wanted to show off this other stuff to you because there's that Cyanogen mod jelly bean that uh, well, it's new to me and hopefully it's new to you too. But now that gives us not only the developer options that you're accustomed to by doing that build number hack that we just showed you, but also performance. Let's go ahead and jump in there. Yes, the disclaimer, we'll okay through that. Go in and check out our processor stuff. It's got an interactive governor. That is one of the better ones. You can change it to one of the others if you like it. Performance, user space and whatnot. I just leave it at interactive performance arguably gets you a little bit better performance in benchmarks and games and whatnot, but uh, there are pros and cons to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, the minimum CPU frequency is 200 megahertz. That's grayed out. The maximum CPU frequency is 1700. That's grayed out and you can see how it's jumping up and down here. And of course you can restore these settings on boot. This version of Cyanogen Mod 10 Nightly, you cannot make those changes. So keep that in mind. Let's go back out of that to our I.O. scheduler. If you want to get in and change I.O. scheduling, you can do that there as well. Memory management, allow purging of assets. I always like to do that. Uh, there is no ZRAM like we showed you in the previous video about the Nexus 4 speed up tips. If you missed that video, by the way, really kind of cool. It shows you some of the uh, advanced stuff that you can do in here. I'll have a link to that at the end of this video. You can come in and change our transparency to 16-bit. This doesn't look as good, but it can help speed things up. You do have to reboot after that. And then surface improvement. I usually like to fix color banding and blur effect again. Uh, I don't think you have to reboot on that one, but not a bad thing to do. Other Cyanogen mod goodies that you have. Up here at the top, of course, we have the trebuchet launcher, so you can change your home screen, you can change the grid size, how many rows and columns do you want. Uh, we probably want more than that, but I'm going to leave it stock just right now. The number of home screens, I usually like having three home screens. The default screen, if there's only three, then is the middle one for me, so that's number two. If you want extra vertical or horizontal padding, you can do that. Turning on and off the uh, persistent search bar, allowing any widget to be resized, I like that one. If you want to hide the labels, because you know what they are, just looking at the icon. I mean, that's what icons are for, right? You can do that in here. You can uh, scroll wallpaper. Yeah, you've seen all this stuff before. It's just very nicely adapted over here for uh, for the Nexus 10, for the 10-inch tablet. Just walk you through a couple more of the things here. Auto-rotate screen, we'll do that. Okay, lock screen, you can go in and make some changes there, that's the stock. Themes, of course, you can do Cyanogen Mod 10 themes. You can even apply CM9 themes to it as well, though you are usually going to get an asset error. Just continue through that and you're just fine. It comes with the stock one by default. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, if you look at themes, it shows you that the buttons are over here on the side and they're obviously in the middle. So little discrepancy between the screenshot and what you actually get. 
uh, CyanogenMod system. We can change stuff in the status bar, showing our clock. This is what a lot of us like to do, circle with percentage. You'll want to go in and make that change because it's just awesome. Uh, showing the notification count up here in the top. So if you've got multiple apps being updated, if you've got multiple emails, it'll show you all that right up there so you can just tell really quickly how many you've got. Really kind of cool there. Uh, of course, users, this is nothing new. This is uh, something that CyanogenMod had before, but now of course it's built in stock with uh, CM10, so no worries about that, or CM10.1 rather. All kinds of fun stuff. Profiles, I really like profiles in CyanogenMod. I can set a different po profile for home, night, if I want it to just be silent or work, and then I can switch between those profiles just by hitting the power button and changing the profile to something else. Now I can have this turn on and off Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, volume up, down, just tons and tons of stuff that I can do with it. And I can also do that through NFC as well uh, on devices that support NFC. So we just fired up and ran Geekbench 2 with just a few of the tweaks available. And you're saying we're getting a benchmark score of 2423. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with Quadrant run that through really fast. Now, if you want to see the benchmarks that come with the stock version of Android, rather than the CyanogenMod version, make sure you head over to the article at pocketnow.com. I will have a link to that article at the bottom of this one, so you can get your, uh, your benchmark comparison over there. And here's our uh, quadrant score, 52.13, so not bad at all. Let's just walk through some, uh, some overall behavior. We'll uh, tilt this and get it back into landscape mode for us. As far as uh, performance, it's very fast and fluid. Not more so or less so than the, uh, the stock ROM, at least not uh, on the face of it. Same thing as far as this goes. Let's fire up an app and see how quick it is. Got Firefox preloaded. Let's just load that up so you can see see how it does when we look at a website. So overall, you know, very good. It launches apps quickly. You can navigate around. It's a nightly, so it's still got some rough edges. For example, you know, we told it that we only wanted three home screens here, and you can see it's got more than three home screens, uh, very obviously. Uh, so there's still things to be done. This is not stable, this is nightly. It's for you to get in and play with and see how it works for you. So what do you think about it? We wanna know what's your favorite part of CM10.1 that uh, we didn't cover here. Share that over in the comments, pocketnow.com, so we can all learn about well, the pretty bits that are hiding inside our custom ROMs. So there you go, CyanogenMod 10.1 nightly running on the Google Nexus 10. If you liked what you saw, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. If you'd like to follow us on Twitter so you don't miss out on any breaking news, new stories, tips, tricks, or solutions, make sure you follow us on Twitter. We're at PocketNowTweets. If you want to follow me, I'm at Joe Levi. For PocketNow, showing off cool ROMs on cool devices, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.